Gordon Fraser is a Scottish entrepreneur, producer, actor, singer, writer, motivational speaker, and philanthropist. He divides his time between Los Angeles and London. Gordon Fraser, who is of Scottish descent, was born in Ayr and raised in Glasgow. He attended the Glasgow Academy until the age of 17, then waited tables at Parkland's Country Club and other restaurants and hotels in Glasgow. He initially did not have the financial resources to pursue training as an actor, so he turned to a career in sales. In 1995, Fraser joined the sales floor of British Telecom's first UK outbound telesales centre, then moved to the customer service team. He worked in the London division for the Yellow Pages sales division before taking a sales position for the McAfee antivirus software division. In 2002, Fraser left McAfee to pursue training as an actor at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. In 2008, Fraser returned to sales, joining the skincare and wellness brand Arbonne. He was the first man to rise to the level of executive national vice president in the company's 37-year history, in part because of his leadership in heading a network of Arbonne consultants and buyers in a global sales campaign. As part of his network marketing business, Fraser also became the face and spokesman for many of the products and he played a key role in reshaping the Arbonne brand to include men. Starting in 2013, Fraser also expanded his speaking, writing, coaching, and consulting work, focusing on wellness, health, philanthropy, and entrepreneurship. His writings integrated mindfulness and purpose into his motivational and inspirational messages. Fraser also produced a number of creative projects, especially in the theater and on screen, and developed a men's swimwear line called Bruno Lima. Fraser's first stage appearance was at age three at Ayers Gaiety Theater, when he appeared with the Scottish entertainer Glenn Michael in his cavalcade show. He had regular appearances in Scottish professional and semi-professional theatre and TV and then auditioned for the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. He was accepted to Lambda and graduated in 2003. His first professional role after graduating from Lambda was to play the master in Blanche McIntyre's The Master and Margarita at London's Greenwich Theatre. He also played the main character in the comedy Odor Eater commercial that ran globally for two years. Fraser regularly performed in theatre and television. He played the title role in the Nelson musical, a musical based on the life of Horatio Nelson. He played Nicholas in Richard Harris's tongue-in-cheek musical Celebrity Me, produced by Bill Kenwright, and as Lucius in Max Lewindel's international tour of Titus Andronicus. Fraser was cast as Daniel in Sky One's drama Doc Coked Up Britain. Fraser was elected as secretary and then press secretary of the British Actors Trade Union, Equity in 2005 for their home county's West Branch. In 2006, Fraser originated the part of Tom and played opposite Anita Louise Coombe in Over the Threshold, a musical romp of sexual misdemeanors and misunderstanding at the Gatehouse Theatre, Highgate. He played the role of the sergeant in Irish playwright Kenneth Hickey's tragedy Song of the Shore directed by Emmy Award-winning director John Bruce at Windsor Arts Theatre. His film work includes Blacking Iago on BBC America, This Year's Love directed by David Kane, Preaching to the Perverted directed by Stuart Urban, Red Light Runners directed by Graham Moore, and Gone directed Kevin Terrell. In 2007, Fraser performed as Le Vicomte de Valmont in scenes from Les Liaisons Dangereux, under the direction of Jennifer Gelfer and working alongside Kerry Mulligan, at the Theatre Royal Haymarket. Fraser was also part of the Lambda and the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art alumni who inspired the docu-theatre production of A2K, Ali 2. Kareem, a tribute to the Ismaili Imams, which was commissioned by London's Ismaili Centre in celebration of the Aga Khan's 50th anniversary. In summer 2007, Fraser also collaborated with Gilbert Adair and New Gods and Heroes, limited for Gilbert's stage adaptation of Love and Death on Long Island based on a novella loosely based on Thomas Mann's death in Venice. Which also inspired the movie with Sir John Hurt and Jason Priestley. Fraser played the lead role of Ronnie Bostick. Fraser has also produced a number of projects for New Gods and Heroes, limited, including both theater and online intellectual properties. In 2007, Fraser also worked at the invitation of director John Bruce in Love Bites, for Sky One, a series of Shakespeare sonnets in contemporary settings with Kenneth Branagh, Zoe Wanamaker, Derek Jacobi, and Tracy Childs. In 2008, Fraser took a break from the acting world when he decided to build a network marketing business through Arbonne. Fraser returned to the theater and acting in 2014. He expanded his role to include producing as well as acting in productions across multiple formats. He collaborated with Bill Taub and the two created and co-produced G-Spot, 
an online comedy series that debuted at the 2018 LA Webfest at Sony Pictures Entertainment Studies in Culver City, California on April 27, 2018. The story was loosely based on Fraser's experiences in Los Angeles and his befriending of psychic twins, Terry and Linda Jameson. G-Spot was nominated for Best Comedy Series, Best Actor, Best Original Music, and Best Sound Design. As a creative writer and social commentator, Fraser has contributed to The Gay Times, Pride and Equality, Talk Business, SCL, Authority, and Surrey Life magazines. He has a blog on the internet We Are The City magazine. He also contributed a chapter to the four-year career by Richard Brook. Other publications that regularly feature his writings on lifestyle and business include Authority Magazine, Business Digest Magazine, Business Manchester, Insight Magaziner, Career Gal, and Savoir Fair Magazine. Unilad author Emma Rose Mergy interviewed Gordon on the significance of David Bowie coming out in 1972 not only for the LGBTQ rights movement, but also popular music for the next two decades. In 2021, Fraser joined Savoir Fair magazine as a staff columnist. Set up in 2012, the Gordon Fraser Scholarship at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art provides vital support to students who would otherwise struggle to start or complete their training due to age or financial challenges. The scholarship was set up as a direct consequence of Fraser being unable to continue his own studies due to financial constraints. He also supports the Tyler Clementi Foundation, which is a charity guided by the life and story of Tyler Clementi, and promotes safe, inclusive and respectful social environments and homes. Schools, campuses, churches and the digital world for vulnerable youth, LGBT youth and their allies. His nickname is G. He is related to the owners of Daly's Department Store, affectionately known as Herod's of the North, which once stood proudly in Sockahall Street, and is John Yuri founder of City Bakeries and one-time owner of Glasgow's C.A. Doro Building. There is no connection to Sir Hugh Fraser founder of the British department store's House of Fraser or to the greetings card manufacturer of the same name. Thanks for watching.